All right, well, Todd's back. Our first full week of February. Today's 207, by the way. 207, 22. So. Two oh, I see what you're yeah, saying. February 7th. Oh, that's funny. 207. Huh. There you go. It's a good show, I hear. It's, it's main day. It's a great show. <laughs> Isn't it? Tape it every night. I know, right? And so I, I got to watch it the next day. It's I, just no, I watch it live, then I watch it back. <laughs> oh. There it is. I just can't get enough of that Caldwell. No, no such thing as too much Caldwell. I've always said that. <laughs> yeah, I love Caldwell. <laughs> All righty, let's get going. Got a lot to talk about. A little storm system to start our week. After Friday's snow and sleet, which does get measured, by the way, um, we're pushing our numbers up above average now for snowfall in Bangor after being way behind the pace for a while there. Now we're caught up and same thing in Caribou, still behind by a few inches in Portland. And guess what? We are going to see a little bit more away from the coastline over the next 24 hours. Winter weather advisories up and they include Bangor, Augusta and Lewiston and Sebago Lake, along with all other points to the north. We've got cold air now. It's pretty chilly out with temps in the teens. There are some single digits up in the mountains right now, but it is going to turn warmer here. So this isn't going to be a very efficient snowmaker. In fact, the coastline will have a very tough time accumulating any snow at all. A lot of what we see will actually be in the form of rain. Starting to see energy from here transfer to the coastline, and we've got low pressure forming off the Carolinas, which is going to slowly move up the coast and lead to that unsettled weather all afternoon, tonight, and most of tomorrow, too. Now, there might be a couple of sunny breaks early, if you're lucky, but those breaks will fill in quickly with clouds. And it's still really cold out, so I do think there are a lot of sketchy spots. We had a little bit of snow along the coast last night, so there are some uh, slippery spots to contend with this morning. Clouds will lower and thicker midday. Flurries possible at this point. Temperatures begin their recovery, though, and they should be around 30 by midday. And then during the afternoon and evening, we'll actually get up close to 32 or even slightly higher. But at this point, Steadier precipitation will be moving in just in time for the evening commute. And that's when we're going to see some wet snowflakes and some chilly raindrops. The drops would be right along the coast, the wet snowflakes inland. And because we're still right around 32 or only a degree or two above that, I do think the evening commute has potential to be rather slippery. So again, use caution. During the overnight, we'll see this precipitation continue to move on in. There'll be rain for the coastline. There'll be wet snow over the interior overnight tonight. Same sort of thing. And even tomorrow morning, we're waking up to some steadier rain and some wet snow for a good chunk of the state. The storm will slide through the Gulf of Maine and move out of here. So everything tapers off tomorrow afternoon, but we will end up with accumulation away from the coastline. There's a slushy coating possible along the coast, but you've got to get up inland where Lewiston, Augusta and Bangor see about one to three inches of wet snow. And then as you get up into the Oxford Hills, you get up into the Central Highlands and you get up into the far north, you're looking at snowfall amounts of three to as much as six inches of snow over the next 24 to 36 hours. Now that storm will move out. We're back to sunshine for Wednesday. Then there'll be a lot of fast moving weak systems, basically cold fronts that come through one on Thursday with some snow showers. We get a break on Friday and then another one on Saturday with some snow showers. But after tonight and tomorrow with this first storm, there won't be any larger storms as we go to the end of the week. Marine forecast small crafts are up seas two to four feet southwest winds 10 to 15 knots. So this afternoon, I expect some snow showers to move in along the coastline. They will be mixed with some rain showers and high temperatures 30 to 35. Rain and snow continue through the morning and then tapering tomorrow afternoon. Again, a few inches likely, especially away from the coastline, several up through the mountains and north. Sunshine is back on Wednesday, looks fairly mild, a high near 40, 40 again on Thursday with a chance for a couple of snow showers and more snow showers over the weekend. Then it'll turn a little colder here on Sunday back into the 20s. But a lot of this week, you know, temperatures that are near average or slightly above. We do have to get through a little wet snow, though, today and tomorrow. All right, and only half the weekend frigid instead of the entire weekend. Exactly. So that's progress. Thank mm -hmm. you, sir.